Exigence, sometimes also called exigency, is a tricky concept. So what is exigence, and why is it important to the rhetorician's toolbox? Basically, when we talk about the exigence of communication, we're talking about a situation that creates an opportunity for response. We can use our shared social knowledge to recognize something as an exigence or opportunity for communication. Some exigencies are more concrete and immediate. An exigence could be a natural disaster like an earthquake or an event of national importance like a controversial health care bill. These events provide the exigence for a wide range of communications. Exigencies can also be more regularly occurring events. For instance, communicators might use the occasion of Martin Luther King Day as an exigence for speaking out about disproportionate police brutality toward African Americans. Exigencies can also be more complex and can develop over time. For instance, we might think about the complications that have gradually come about from the introduction of wolves in Western states and the various types of communication that arose in an attempt to address the issue. When you're analyzing the exigence of communication, think about these two questions. First, what event or occasion gave rise to this communication? And second, how did communicators use the exigence to further their purpose? To strategically use exigence when composing your own work, think about these questions. First, what exigencies currently seem to invite a response? And second, given my audience and purpose, what type of communication would be the most effective and appropriate way to respond to this exigence? Check out chapter six for another way to approach the idea of exigence, namely through the idea of rhetorical problems.